thanks for watching. Obviously you can see we're getting some pretty crazy weather here. Uh, we're expected uh, about a foot of snow, maybe a little more, with winds uh, from 30 miles an hour all the way up to gusts to 60, 65 miles an hour. So most people would stay home on a day like today. I think it's a good day to get out and do some uh, work with uh, long range uh, type shooting. So uh, not very often you get 50, 60 mile an hour winds in the east coast. So uh, I'm gonna take advantage of this. Uh, one thing I do wanna talk about is uh, just your optics. Something going wrong with your optics, especially with a bolt gun, could ruin your day uh, quite quickly. Even a red dot or something like that if you don't have backup sights. But specifically a bolt action with a, with a magnified optic because you don't have backup sights to, to make up for the difference. So one big thing to keep in mind is moisture inside your lenses. Obviously it's good to keep uh, keep um, lens covers on as long as possible uh, get your get your uh, little hideout set up uh, range your targets or whatever you got to do and then before you get ready to shoot pop your lens caps open and then when you're done immediately close your caps to keep as much moisture as possible off the scope and the lenses itself uh, another thing that I think is pretty important that um, I'm not sure if a lot of other people do but uh, a sunshade especially weather like this um, in the snow and stuff there's not much, uh, when they create the scopes, the lens runs almost just about to the end of the bell. Uh, when you have a, a sunshade on, it gives you four or five, maybe even six inches longer um, onto the end of the optic for clearance. It's, uh, it's kind of like an awning for your scope. And uh, wind like this blowing sideways or parallel to you, um, the, the sunshade will block out just about everything. The only way you would get um, snow into your optic with a sunshade is if the snow's blown directly at your face and that may be something to think about, uh, maybe adjusting your position so that doesn't happen. Um, when you're obviously coming from a vehicle that's warm into cold temperatures, your, your uh, lenses are gonna fog up. Uh, so that's something to think about. Uh, let, your, uh, let your scope and the lenses adapt to the cold weather and vice versa, going into warm weather after you're done shooting. It doesn't make any sense to bring your rifle from cold temperatures like this, take it, put it inside your home, and directly throw it into your gun safe and especially with your lens caps closed because the moisture is going to build up between the lens cap and the lens and you're going to have moisture sitting in there for as long as the rifle sitting into the safe. Uh, typically what I do is I get home, I'll just take a, a cloth or something, dry everything off. I typically don't clean my rifle every time I shoot, but the optics are definitely something I look at. Uh, wipe down everything that's wet. Uh, I take uh, actual microfibers, I wipe down the lenses and I pop my lens caps open and I let it sit. For, uh, for a couple hours in the living room just so the moisture has a place to evaporate and uh, that seems to help me out a lot. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, hopefully you guys are getting out shooting too. Uh, it's a beautiful day for it and uh, you don't get better sitting on your butt. So um, get out and work at it as much as you can. Thanks for watching.